All right, let's get into it. So, this is a video on the new movie Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, never heard of it before last night. Watched it with the fam. Pretty good movie. Um, yeah, I, I suggest everybody watch, especially if you have a family. It's a perfect movie for a family because it's like, you know, it's it's tough to find good family movies that ain't boring to at least one of the people in the family. But anyways, in watching it, um, I stumbled across a symbolism or a piece of imagery that I've seen many times in many movies before. Uh, some of you may have heard of it before. It goes back to, you know, Freemasonry. It's called the um, checkerboard floor and pillars. A lot of people know about the checkerboard floor. You, I mean, you see that quite, I mean, all throughout our culture. And it comes from, you know, the concept of duality in parallel, good and bad, you know, up and down, light and dark, fire and ice. These are the concepts, you know. The concept of alchemy is to bring those together to create a new. So we're going to bring two pieces of lead together or a piece of lead and a piece of uh, steel and make gold. You know, that's kind of what they, they their mindset, you know. The, the most common one that you all have seen, it's the red and blue effect. You know, you have an Democrat and Republican, you have Bloods and Crips. Well, when you bring that together, you get the color of royalty, purple. And, you know, that's kind of the concept of the Freemasons or alchemists. That's what they're doing. They, they want to bring together opposites, create chaos, and then establish order out of that chaos. That's kind of the, um, the brainwashing mechanism that they're using. But... That's another side story because that doesn't really have to have to do with what we're talking about today because today is more about directors and, you know, lower level people in the media. So I don't necessarily believe that they know everything that they're doing, but all I know is the imagery is, is in here. It's true um, that it's matching up and it, it aligns with all these different movies. And only thing I don't, I'm not sure of is how deep these directors know what they're doing or not. And you might ask, like, how do I know this? I know this because I study art. I study every piece of art. I, oh, I'm the type of person that needs to know, why do we like this? I find out why, and I'm able, to, for some reason, able to take the why and turn it into my own why. And that's why I can just create. I create everything. I create music, videos. I just, there's no limitations because I've had that formula in my head since I was a kid. I used the same formula to become good in sports. So... I've just been able to study this, pick up on little things, and I, this has been the most pervasive, one of the most pervasive scenes. That's how I look at this, because I in movies, the same things are happening so many times that they become scenes for me. And this is the classic checkerboard floor, floor walking through a two pillars or a portal into enlightenment. They'll walk through, and then they're going to learn... They're going to learn more about what's going on, more, learn more about the story, learn more about themselves. So they will become enlightened. Luciferianism, because Lucifer what? Is the light bearer, the light bringer of light. Bringer of light means bringer of knowledge. And the knowledge is this forbidden knowledge I'm telling you right now. Okay, so we're going to get into This is Fr Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'll, I'll try to keep all dialogue to a minimum. Because the, the dialogue is irrelevant. This is, this is strictly about the imagery. Like, and I'm telling you guys, I've seen this over and over and over. Every mystery, every cliffhanger, this is what happens. Somewhere halfway through the movie. The first person to point this out to me and help me start to see things from a way clearer perspective is Chronicles of Judah. Because I was seeing these Chronicles of Judah 1 for 4. I was seeing these patterns all throughout my life, but I, never, I could never make sense of them. I would just scare my friends with them and say, like, look at this weird ass shit. Like uh, my homie still video Lil Wayne back in the day, tons of occult symbolism, but uh, that's an, that's a video for another day. Let's get back into this five Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm gonna explain everything to you as it goes. Back to Five Nights at Freddy or the Freddy's Pizza Place or whatever. And as she walks through the pillars, you'll see the checkerboard floor. It illuminates as she walks under it, and then the um, one of the protagonists. I guess she's not the protagonist. She's more of a supporter. But one of the supporting characters starts to tell you the enlightenment information that makes the whole story make sense. Here's another element to this. 
Um, there's a work that rhymes with Deto and Redo. A lot of these movies that I find this in, they always have a Redo, you know, starts with a P, Redo, undertone to them. Because that's another thing that, you know, these alchemists and occultists and Freemasons, not necessarily Freemasons, let me leave them out of this because I haven't came to that conclusion, but let's say th Thelemites, people who follow Aleister Crowley, they believe in sex magic. That's why we live in such a sexualized society. All right. Now I'm going to walk you through this. We're already seeing um, parallel right here. You're already seeing duality from the reflection. I'm just seeing this now because I've never had an opportunity to stop it. Then you have, you know, it's split like this. You have this character and then she's on the other side, a little girl, big scary monster, little girl. It's duality. You know what I mean? Parallel and duality. That's, that's what this has to do with. And I'm going to walk you through this movie, then Eyes Wide Shut, and then The Joker. All the same scene, just different details. Welcome. Checkerboard floor. Where'd you go? Pillars. In life. In the 80s when the... You heard that in the 80s, da-da, because she's going to tell you the backstory behind everything and what's going on. I'm telling you, man. That's that. There's number one. Like I said, this is just... This could be parallels in art, and I'm just a genius artist, or there's something more, you know, sinister going on. All right, let's get to the next one. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. Let's go. Let's do the Joker first. I feel like the Joker's is a good one. See, already looking similar. Well, uh, this is right after he um, does something on the bus. I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it, but he does something on the bus that helps him realize his true self. It brings him to enlightenment. Same shape. I don't, and I'm going to connect this all back to the actual Freemason imagery. You know what? Let me do that now. Let me do that now. Because without the imagery, I, I don't think you guys quite understand. Try to zoom in. What do we have here? We have duality, parallels, opposites, everything that I'm telling you. Path to what? Enlightenment. See this? See the sun? That's where you get the sun worship from. And look at this. Keep all these images in mind because I'm going to connect all this back. I'm going to connect all this stuff to each other. And like each of these little symbols have little meanings behind them too. Like I believe this is like earth or just do your research on this. Concept of this is duality. In the process of, it, of enlightenment through bringing together opposites, bringing, causing chaos, and then bringing order from the chaos. Is that not the same exact shot? Now let's go back to the other show. Is that not the same exact shot? When I mean, you can... Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. Yeah, you can. I mean, it, the proof is in the pudding. That's the same... They're doing that on purpose. I'm, I'm not making this up. You can be willfully ignorant if you want. And all I'm saying is that this is either like high quality plagiarism or something more sinister. You might be wondering, where's the check of the floor? In his hand. That's not the check. Notice the, sh the shift of color. The lights flashing, enlightenment. And a wave of calmness rushes over him. Now here's where it all gets dark. Checkerboard floor. What did I tell you? I don't want to get copyright strikes. The proof is in the pudding. Go watch that scene. This is him understanding himself to a deeper level, and this is when he goes dark. This is when he goes rogue, and he says, you know, forget this society because this society forgot me. And this is supposed to, you know, connect with the lunatics of our society, I believe. All right, that one's, that one's done with. Once again, the whole time you're watching this movie, Redo Undertones with a P. 
Rado undertones the whole movie. No coincidence. And they're his. He's the one. He's the Rado in the story. If just pay attention to the little subtle, subtle details. And it's because of what happened to him. When he was a child. I don't want to spoil, spoil nothing for you guys, but that's it. It's trauma. It's trauma. Like all these things. All these things connect back to the same thing. It's trauma, brainwashing, you know, MK Ultra stories. That's what this is. Let's get rid of that one. Recognize this. This is on Eyes Wide Shut. This kaleidoscopic. You see this kaleidoscope? He's going to explain to you what, uh, what this is to him, and then I'm going to explain to you what it is to me. Christmas decor serves an additional purpose. It conveys sexual excitement. The two wives, Alice and Ilona, look gorgeous here and are stood against the backdrop of Christmas lights. Okay, you heard that right. What is that right there? Is that not the same exact imagery? It is ancient Mesopotamian goddess of love, war, and fertility. They know what they're doing. I mean, this is a whole whole video for another day. I just wanted to sh show you that real quick. This is Inanna, the queen of heaven, goddess of love, war, and fertility, another version of Isis, Aphrodite, um, Venus, you know. But that's not the only thing I wanted to show you. This is the opening scene of Eyes Wide Shut. Let me show you the opening scene real quick. Here we go. What we have. We have the pillars. And then you might say no checkerboard floor. But if you look closely, everything is parallel and duality. We got the red and black, two tennis rackets, two shoes, mirrored pillars, a mirror with two pictures in it that are the same. This split down the middle is a mirror. And then you have the only thing that's not mirroring is the enlightenment item. <laughs> it's right in your face. You could say that this is just coincidence, but it's not. This is the opening scene of the movie. These movies are 20 years apart, 40, 30 years apart. It's the opening scene. So he just gets right into it. And then throughout the movie, that's all you, you see that time and time again. There's a moment where he goes into this bar and he finds this newspaper that kind of explains what's going on in his life. And when he walks into the bar, he walks underneath two candles, which symbolizes enlightenment. Now, with all that being said, you can say this is all coincidence. But this video paired with the video I did a few days ago on Doja Cat's video will really help you get a full understanding of what's going on. The Muzid, later known as Tammuz, which I mentioned, that's where we get the T from. The cross, the weeping of Tammuz. Reading this story will really help you get a, get a great understanding. Listen, look, they'll, they'll tell you. Possibly influenced the Greek god As Aphrodite. No, not possibly, did. And it just happens over and over again. The same way that this society has went and the way that it's went is the same way that all these societies went. Been associated with sexual rights, meaning rituals. Why now? now why is that on the uh, on the wall? Hold on. Looks like I got rid of it. Like. But in eyes wide shut, this kaleidoscopic Christmas decor. And then it comes back to the sun worship and bow, because what you know, what you realize is they worship the sun. He has a bow manifestation and apparently he has a inanna representation. You know what I mean? Because it's all just games. It's all switching things around and man playing God. And then being able to being able to manipulate humanity at large. But that's it. I'm going to wrap this up now. I didn't want this to be too long and it kind of went longer than I wanted. But yeah, you could say it's a coincidence. Let me try to find some more pillars before I check out of here. You'll notice this throughout the whole movie, the duality concept. Here it is. Told you.
He walks in under here, and then after this, this is when he finds out the true information. And when Bill is followed in the streets, an ironic Merry Christmas sign in the cafe entrance greets us with the cafe name Sharkies, Sharkies being like a threatening animal. Back to the daughter, Helena. He walked in with the newspaper in his hand, he sits down, and he reads, and he starts to learn about what's go what he's going through. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here. You know what else is funny? For Just for shits and giggles, look at the uh, nice one-eye symbolism. Triangle. Enlightenment is purple because red and blue bringing together of opposites creates purple. When is it... When does this become not a coincidence and, and it's true? Alright, that's it.